Hey guys, it's me Barb and I'm here today to give you a quick tutorial on how to place items on tables and counters. Now, for doing this, I'm not necessarily just talking about furniture items that are in your furniture tab. I'm also talking about things like food you've cooked, fish, sticks, rocks, flowers, the whole nine yard. So, if you're doing this from your inventory, what you'll want to do is find the item you'd like and go ahead and select it and choose Split Stack. So we're going to split a stack of one. Because we don't want to stick a stack of 38 berry salads on the table, but if we're decorating, we could use one of those, and that's a lot less wasteful. So we're going to do this also, for example, with this softwood. We'll split to a stack of one. We already have this one lonesome flower over here. We go ahead and grab it. Let's split this coal into a stack of one. And this lobster. So these should be good example items. They take up different amount of spaces on the table, which you will see in just a moment. So once you have your stack split to one, go ahead and drop them on the ground. We're gonna go ahead and throw this rock on the ground. Same with our flour, our sticks, and our berry salad. Sanitary, right? <laughs> so once you've done this, you're gonna go into your furniture edit mode. So back out of this screen, and, uh, wow, there's a lot of trees over here. My bad, guys. Sorry. Once we're at this screen, we can go ahead and select our items. So, and you can do this with any flower that's just out here. So, like, this one I have sitting right here. But I could have grabbed any of them in this area. They're kind of finicky because they take four slots on the table. And by slots, I mean these squares. So, you can see this uh, writing table has four, five, six. It has eight, right? You can see this table over here has eight as well. Some smaller tables might only have four or even one. Or as an exception, I put out to show you this restaurant kit table that you get during the Remy quest has none. You cannot place items on it. Uh, and we'll talk about that a bit more. Now, for placing items on the table, you can rotate them. So select and rotate to make them fit wherever uh, you need for your slots. Once they're on the table, you can still select and rotate like so. And if you have your cooked or baked goods, you can plop them up on the table. One item that looks especially cool on a table are cakes, like the birthday cake. Uh, rocks we can just toss up here. And that stick won't fit here because it takes up four slots, but you can see we have four slots free over here. So let's try it. There we go. Try to get that thing to cooperate. Now, this is useful for a few things. Uh, basically, if you like decorating, uh, you could use these on a picnic table, or if you're organizing, you can stick these items on a counter and then stick your storage chest in front of them. Um, you can also use it like the small round table outside of Remy's. That table has one slot, so you can stick one item on it. I think it's cute to toss a little ratatouille on there or something else, and you can change out that food every once in a while just to kind of spice up that area outside of its place. Now... When you want to pick up these items, you can exit furniture mode, and you can literally walk right up to them. Oh, I can walk, I swear. <laughs> and select to pick them up, just as if they were on the ground. So it's not even hard to get them off of there. You don't have to go in furniture edit mode. Now I mentioned we were going to talk more about this Remy quest table. If you haven't done the Remy quest yet, I'm sorry. You'll see it when you do the quest. But when you're setting up his restaurant, you get a quest to go get a furniture kit from Scrooge. If you are going to get that furniture kit and you buy more than one from him, you can have extras. Um, now, I did not know this. I didn't do it when I did the quest, so I thought I just was never going to have this table. And it's one of the only tables I've seen that has nice chairs with it. But there are a few downsides to this table. As you saw in furniture edit mode, you cannot place items on top of it. And also, you cannot sit in these chairs, so it's purely cosmetic. Now, if you miss getting this in the Remy Quest, don't worry. It can show up in your Scrooge shop as one of the display items. That's actually how I got it just a couple days ago. I went in there, I saw it, and I was like, oh my goodness, this is the restaurant kit. And it's up here as an item. I bought one. I left it in my inventory. I then talked to Scrooge. And I ordered several more. 
So now I have a table and chair set that I can use for decorating. But do keep in mind, you can't sit in the chairs and you can't put items on it. So let's go to the other type of items that we can put on tables. Now this time we are actually going to go into the furniture tab. And let's check out, I believe, our appliances? No, yes, tea kettle. So we're going to take this tea kettle. And just like food, we can place it. Let's grab this blender. And you can see that these are very easy to place on the table. You do not have to throw them on the ground, which is probably good because I'm pretty sure your blender has like a glass container at the top. It's probably fragile. Probably don't want to be throwing it on the ground. But if you can imagine, let's say this was your kitchen counter. Probably should put these on the counter. If we were to toss these up here on the counter, all of a sudden we have a cool blender, a tea kettle. And let's say we go into our inventory and we're going to toss a berry salad on the ground because we like to throw our food on the ground before we eat it. Go into furniture edit mode. Scroll here. All of a sudden, we have a bowl of berries next to our blender. We're here making our morning smoothie and we have our tea going. So super useful for decorating. I hope that this video was useful for you as well. I didn't want to keep you guys too long. But I did want to show you the ins and outs of placing various items on tables because I did realize um, a few people didn't necessarily know because the game does not make it obvious. So if you didn't know, don't worry. Now you do. You can decorate away. You can organize away. And hopefully this was helpful in your Dreamlight Valley adventures. If it was, please like and subscribe. Turn your notifications on because I do sometimes stream, which is fun. <laughs> and hopefully I'll see you guys around. Thanks again and bye for now. Until next time, guys.